The top people were horrible. You look at what happened. They were plotting against my election. Probably has never happened like that in terms of uh, intelligence, in terms of anything else. Right. But they were actually plotting against my election. The headline right so, now is... But I'm actually proud because I beat Clinton dynasty. Right. I beat Bush dynasty. And now, I guess... Hopefully, I'm in the process of beating very dishonest intelligence because what they did was incredible. Okay, uh, let's go to former DOJ official uh, Jay Christian Adams on all of that. This uh, unusual event today uh, on the north uh, side of the White House today. Don't see it very often. You saw it today for the better part of an hour, uh, talking to our Steve Ducey, going on and talking and taking on all comers, uh, both walking over to see Steve, uh, Fox and Friends, and afterwards leaving. Um, the, the 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 upshot, uh, you know, Mr. Adams is this: he believes that this IG report exonerates him. Furthermore, cripples the Mueller probe. Uh, his lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, has said maybe uh, Mueller should suspend his investigation. W what do you think? Well, Neil, when you look at the report itself, there's some really astonishing things in there. Uh, the president says something that, at first glance, might seem outlandish that. The FBI was working against him. But when you actually read the IG report, it looks like it's true. I mean, some of the texts are just astonishing. And it wasn't just Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, the pair that the president calls the lovebirds. There were other FBI agents. Just amazing things, uh, Neil. I mean, th things like we will stop him from becoming president. When they were deciding to do the Hillary interview, remember back in 2016, right, right. they were actually saying, don't bring many resources to this interview. Don't go loaded for bear because she might be the president and will remember what we did. There were other things where they said we have to rush out this report to close the investigation because I just watched the conventions and I'm getting nervous about Trump. I mean, when you read the actual texts, it looks like the president is on to something. You know what I didn't understand, too, having gone through it? I mean, um, there were a number of other individuals who had much more disparaging comments to make, and they're unidentified, but this uh, one exchange between unidentified FBI agents, I assume, who described Trump voters as all poor to middle class and uneducated. I could go on and on here where they start veering into not very nice words. Anyway, um, I don't know how many of them knew or, or what the backdrop for a lot of the comments or concerns about as becoming pre president were at the time, whether there were Russian allegations even then. So context is everything, and, and I don't get that here. I just know yeah. the time period, but, but I'm, I'm curious what you make of that and whether some of these people were, in fact, aware of an impending uh, investigation or what could be the makings of an investigation, and that's what they were responding to, or did they just hate Donald Trump? No, Neil, you've left out the most important fact. These other FBI agents that are discussed in the report were working on the Hillary investigation. The ones who were expressing so they total... might have been watering it down. In right. That I mean, these were people who were in the Hillary investigation for the servers. But did you get the... a sense from that? I'm sorry to jump on you, my friend, but, yeah. that, but from that, that they might have been privy to other information on Trump or that. They didn't want to go too hard on Hillary Clinton uh, and it had nothing to do with other information on Trump. They just didn't like him. Well, that's a question I don't know the answer to, uh, unfortunately. And, but we do know that Peter Strzok was privy to the Russian investigation, and, and he and, and, and Lisa Page were, were making decisions based on their biases. And so all throughout this report, there's a contempt for regular Americans, non-politically connected, working Americans. They were full of hatred toward them. They talked about how they smelled at Walmart. I mean, this is, shouldn't be the FBI. The FBI is supposed to be neutral. Instead, they become a weaponized political organization that apparently hated Donald Trump during the election. Do you think the president should talk to Bob Mueller? Absolutely not. It's a perjury trap. They will, anything he does. I mean, look at the people who would be making the investigative decisions. Yeah. It's people like Lisa Page and, 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 and Peter Strzok. They're, they're these biased FBI people, biased DOJ people. They're going to look for ways to charge him uh, under 18 U.S.C. 1001. I'm so glad you mentioned that, that, the, the number for that. Uh, uh, Jay Christian Adams, <laughs> I'm kidding. You're, you're a genius. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Have a good weekend. Thanks a lot.